Hey friends, welcome to the latest episode. Today we're going to talk a little bit about money and how that stops us. This is one of the main things that stops my clients from really being able to step into who they are and own their life, own their money story. And it's something that I have hugely transformed in my life. So I'm really excited for you to dive into this podcast today, into this session. I hope you get a lot out of it. And if you stay to the end, there is a very, very special offer for you to support you to transform your money story and live a powerful life. I am Christy Obst and this is Warrior S. I am a professional MMA fighter, holistic mindset and health coach, and energy healer. I know what it takes to get out of your own way and to live courageously and powerfully, to chase your dreams, to follow the pull of your soul, and win at life. Together, we will be getting real and journeying into all aspects, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, to becoming unshakably you and igniting your badass and beautiful warrior self. Time to own it, babe. Today, I really wanna get into what is it that stops us? Because when we are playing for a big life, for a life that we want to really create, to really channel our inner greatness, ignite our inner warriors and really chase those dreams, things are going to pop up. They're going to get in the way. And one thing that I find gets in the way for a lot of people And I have definitely experienced this before in my life as well, is money or the lack thereof. So often when you are wanting to grow, when you are wanting to expand or you are needing to grow and expand, like you're getting to a point that you are, your comfort zone isn't that comfortable anymore. Like there's a little bit too much pain going on and your body, your mind, your soul or your circumstances are really calling for change and you get the inkling that it needs to happen. And this can look like investing in yourself on all levels, physical, mental, emotional and spiritual. Maybe it is needing to make changes physically in the food that you buy, buying a higher quality food. Maybe you need to invest in support from a coach, a nutritionist, a personal trainer. But the thing that gets in the way is the money. Now, this might trigger you a little, so I want you to listen to this with a open mind, an open heart, and just consider it. You are allowing money to be an excuse. You are creating yourself to be a victim of your circumstances, of the lack of money. Now, that can be a not very easy thing to hear, especially because it's a real thing. You're probably sitting there thinking, Christy, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not a victim of my circumstances. I literally cannot afford coaching, spending money on higher quality food, whatever it is, because I only have this much money in my bank account. I only earn this much money a week and I have A, B and C bills to pay for it. 
And I get the whole uh, being responsible around that, you know, you have to be responsible and you have to be aware. But at the same time, it's really important to look at what is going on behind the scenes. Is this something that has popped up just right now for you? That's a challenge for the short term? Or is this a constant blockage that you come up against? Is money a constant reason for you not growing and expanding, spending more time on yourself, or just having the things that you want in your life? How many times have you really wanted something but put it off because you didn't have the money? So I get that it feels really real. Like I said, I have dealt with this before and I've had massive breakthroughs in this area time and time again. So I want you to consider for a second that everything that shows up in our external environment, every situation and circumstance that is presenting itself in our lives is a direct correlation to the energy, the karma, and the belief patterns that we are holding internally. So what do we believe about money? Or what is the underlying factors, maybe fears, that are actually creating the lack of money to be an excuse, a blockage, and a deciding factor on whether we really create the change in our lives. Because you are so powerful and you absolutely have the ability to work on the internal stuff. And I promise you, when you do that, the external shifts that show up in your life because of that are nothing short of magic. There's a lot of different places that we can go with this conversation. You know, everyone is different. They have different thoughts, different beliefs, different circumstances that they have grown up with and that they have experienced throughout their lives that can be impacting this area. But there's a few things that I want you to consider and a few things that I want you to ask yourself. Has money always been a limiting factor for you having what you want in your life? And are you willing to let that go and to start to create the change that you want? Are you ready to ignite that inner warrior and no longer let this be a deciding factor in what you want out of your life? Do you want to finally be able to say, yes, I can afford that and no longer say no to things because money is always in the background? Look at the thing that you want to spend the money on that you haven't. And then I just want you to start watching what your mind starts talking about. Tell me the reasons why you can't have what you have. And you have to sit with it a little bit deeper then because I don't have the money. Remember, that is just an excuse. So if money wasn't an issue, then what would be in the way? Is it a fear that you can't have what it is that you're wanting? Is there a lack of worthiness? Do you feel like you do not deserve those things? Is guilt in the way? Is there a repetitive statement that is coming up for you that 
you may not even believe, but you may never have consciously looked at. Is it something that your parents constantly said maybe? Money doesn't grow on trees. You have to be sensible. Don't waste your money. We hold a lot of beliefs and we hold ourselves back a lot because of the things that we have adopted throughout our life and have just taken them on and lived with them like the truth without ever questioning, is this really true for me? And is this even helping me? Is money being an excuse in your life and limiting you from what you want to do and who you want to be doing great things for you or not? I can guarantee you it's not. And often it is the fear of looking into this stuff and the fear of stepping out of the comfort zone into the unknown and changing that stops us. That's actually in the background. And then we use the lack of money as an excuse for us to not have to go there. So often pushing past the fears that come with stepping out of the comfort zone and creating change in your life, we need to deal with the excuses head on. And sometimes the exact thing that you need to do is actually go and spend the money. Take a chance. Take that leap of faith. Commit to yourself. Commit to your growth and to what it is that you are after and who you are after being in your life and spend the money on the coach, on the nutritionist, on the organic food, on that new dress that you've been putting off buying for months and months and months. And when you do that, notice what comes up. If you start to become aware of what is there for you when you are actually spending the money, that is going to lead you to the deep-seated subconscious belief patterns and feelings that are actually what is holding you back. Now, I want you to imagine for a second if you were being super powerful with your money, if it was not an issue, If it was not an excuse, what would you be doing? Who would you be? Where would you be? And what would you be spending your money on? And how would you feel while you're spending it? Don't think too much. Just answer that out aloud. And know that you can be powerful over this. You just have to choose yourself and choose to have the breakthrough. I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys, and got heaps out of it. There is some absolute gold in that session if you really sit with it. I was really committed to not letting money or the lack thereof control my life anymore. And I have completely transformed my own money story and have done the same with many, many clients. So it's no longer taking control of you and you have power of it and you can create whatever the hell you want in your life because you are a powerful woman. Now, what I have gone and done is created a three-day program to support you in completely flipping this money story turning the money drama and the money karma into your dreams and unlocking the energetics of abundance in your life. This goes over three days, is two powerful trainings, and the last day is a ritual where you really get into the energetics and shifting all of this stuff. This has really made magic in my life and in the lives of my clients that have taken this program. I am currently offering this to you guys as special listeners and followers of me for 70% off 
for a limited time only. All you have to do is use the code I am magic at checkout. You will be able to find this program at www.christyreneobst.com forward slash money. If you can't find it there, then head over to Instagram and find me on Christy Renee Obst and head to the link in my bio. Feel free when you jump on there to DM me, say hi, and let me know what you got out of this episode today. Speak soon.